What's up, soul family and my baddies? Um, <laughs> this message this morning, um, uh, I'm just going to... I want to say it's more so of words of wisdom, but it's more so to um, give you a clear understanding. When someone becomes jealous of you, or if someone becomes envious of you, they send things your way energetically. And I, even myself, I had to learn how to call in my energy back. Blessed and blissed. Um, you, you just got to look at things for what they are. It's almost like... It's almost like somebody wants to. If you, I think what come to my mind is uh, the monkey bread. <laughs> when you have this monkey bread, it's all one look like a cake. But when you are surrounding yourself around people who don't care for you or don't like you, they want to pick you apart. It doesn't matter how sweet you are, how whole you are, how loving you are, how good you are. You will have people that want to pick you apart. All of that is spiritual abuse. All of it is spiritual abuse. I had to learn the hard way on how spiritual abuse works. So it's almost like when someone questions your ability to be strong or brave, they will try you. They'll pull your card. They want to say, hey, you're not who you say you are. But if that person knows nothing about you, then they have no power. The only way they have the power is if you give it to them. Even me, myself, I, I started to... Um, want to reveal my face after the retrograde. I said, no, I don't want to do that because um, people confuse how I look versus what I know. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's annoying. So um, it's almost like if I show more of who I am mentally, how I look won't even matter because you can't see me. I mean, I look like who I was a month ago, you know? Because I, I sure don't carry the same energy. So it's almost like you got to be aware because you want to be loving. What you put out comes back, you know? So it's like I want to, because the objective, when you're trying to change who people perceive you as, um, is to remain that way. Um, nobody wants to continue being the same person to get the same results, you know, and, um, I definitely don't want to be a person to be a part of that, you know? So it's almost like as I'm 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 shuffling cards and uh one of my cards that definitely say watch your words. As a messenger, watch your words. So um but stay true to yourself, know your worth. So I, I've I've always tried to be better than I was yesterday or last week, last year.
two years ago, 10 years ago. It doesn't matter. I want to be better than I was. And I'm just refusing to let anybody or anything to keep me stuck. So if someone or a crowd of people or a community or a family never sees my face again, I'm okay with that. I have to protect my energy at all costs because people are evil. People are wicked. And if I choose to entertain that, then I it makes me no different from who they are or what they want me to be. And I don't want to be that. So, um... So, um, the fact of the matter is, if I never receive love from people that I've known all my life, you know, just know I always love you. It's just that at right now, um, you know, you got people who just will not stop. And I have to protect myself at all costs. So, whether... I have something or nothing at all. Nobody will ever know that. Nobody will ever know that. Because. I, I, It's not that. I don't want to show people. That. My money manifestations work. It's just that. It's not going to be people. That's going to be happy. That you have it. So you got to keep your blessings close to your chest all the time. And it's sad. It's, it's, it's really, really sad. But, you know, you have to do what you got to do. Because you, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you'll be locked up or in jail for stupidness. Because people really go based off of money and it's sad it's so sad I wake up in the morning and I could just have two dollars in my pocket I am happy not everybody may not agree with that but I am happy with just just two dollars because it's two dollars more than what I had And what people perceive to be is wealth. It's not really wealth. Wealth is not what you physically have. Wealth is what you carry mentally. The lessons that you learn. The things that you experience. The things that allow you to be who you are today. It's not trying to expose someone it's not about trying to make someone else look bad it's not about trying to make someone else feel low about themselves that is not true spirituality that is not and i take some accountability within self but that was a part of me that needed to heal and now that i know that there were certain things in my life that needed to heal. Guess what? That's no longer a burden for me. It's not a lot of people that agrees with my progress. Maybe a lot of people may not agree with the fact that I'm not the same cherry that I was before. But what they did not know is I've always been this way. When you are an introvert, you cannot show your hand to everyone because not everyone deserves to know the true you because you don't know how that person would treat you if they knew the truth about who you truly was if they knew you had a big heart some people would take advantage of that if they know you a giver some people would take from you if they know you uh, uh rather love than to just fight and you rather have peace then people will war with you. So why would I need to subject myself to that? Let's take a mask. Let's, you know, with the COVID-19 going on right now, let's take that for an example. Let's take 
the COVID-19 for an example. You wear the mask everywhere you go. You go in the store, wear a mask. You go to people's house, you wear a mask. You walk down the street, you wear a mask. And you're supposed to because you want to keep your immunities safe. But how long would you be able to wear a mask before it becomes uncomfortable? That is exactly how things are in the spiritual realm. That is the same way when it comes down to getting to know people. How long can you go on being who they want you to be before you become uncomfortable around them? So if I go through life where people that I know all my life that doesn't accept me, I'm okay with that because I accept me. That's all that matters. You don't have to accept me. I accept me. Because I came in this world by myself, I'm going to leave this world by myself. And that's what I want y'all to look at it. You, how people view you doesn't matter because they're no higher than God. The things that you go through in life, those are experiences. You were supposed to learn from that. Learn how to accept self. Learn that God is who you're going to always trust. I went through the ringer. The ringer. And I used to have people like, how do you smile every day? Because I'm grateful. I'm thankful. People want to take me out. The devil want to take me out. I have communities that wanted to take me out because I'm different. It don't matter. I love me. When I leave this world, I'm going to love me. So lie if you got to. Deny if you got to. Reject if you got to. Shame if you got to. Do what you got to do to accept yourself. But I accept me. Flaws and all. That's all I had to say, y'all. Y'all be blessed.